This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Five people were taken to local hospitals after a police chase ended in a crash in South Fairmount Sunday night. Cincinnati Fire Department says a car police were chasing crashed into a building at Westwood Avenue and Grand then caught fire. Our crew saw at least two other vehicles crashed at that scene. The fire department says at least one person was trapped in the crash. There's no word on the condition of those who were hurt or the reason for the chase yet. A night of remembrance for Springdale police officer Kaya Grant one year after she was killed in the line of duty. Sunday night outside the police department, her family, friends and fellow officers honored her with a ceremony, dedicating a plaque and a special memorial to her. The chief says Officer Grant's locker will remain in the locker room just as she left it until the year 2037. That's the year Grant would have been able to retire. Grant was killed trying to stop a driver during a high speed chase on Interstate 275. She was an eight year veteran of the department and was born and raised in Wyoming, Ohio. Vaccine eligibility expands today in Kentucky. Anyone 50 and older can now get a shot. Appointments for eligible patients first opened last week. Governor Bashir says he expects every Kentucky resident 16 and older will be eligible for a vaccine by April 12th. In Indiana, anyone 40 or older is now eligible for the vaccine. You can schedule your appointment by heading to ourshot.in.gov or call 211 or you can even reach out to a local pharmacy there to schedule an appointment directly with them. Sherry, first couple days of spring in the books. Things are looking pretty good, but changes are ahead. Yeah, in fact, we're still going to enjoy a nice sunny day for Monday. Temperatures will be around maybe 40 when you get up in the morning, that 7 a.m. hour. So driving back home, though, lots of sunshine, mostly sunny and temperatures even milder, around 68 degrees. We start again with a sunshine in the morning. We will see some clouds increasing as we go into the latter portion of the day. Tuesday really looks pretty much on the dry side, but we can't rule out a few showers then. Uh, look at the way things are looking for the day parts. We're seeing again sunshine across the board and some increasing clouds later in the day. Our chances of rain, zero for Monday, but Tuesday and Wednesday, we notch it up just a little bit and it's more likely for Thursday.